é famoso tem uma casa na praia. E quem tem uma casa na praia sabe que todo mundo quer ter também. Quando você está ocupado na cidade ou trabalhando duro no estúdio, lutando por todo o seu dinheiro suado, você não quer nada além de relaxar e ficar longe de todo aquele barulho. Então pegue o seu cachorro, chame seu instrutor de yoga, seus amigos, pegue seu barco, seu jet ski ou chame o gerente da ilha e relaxe da única maneira que os famosos sabem fazer. Mas o que faz uma casa ser uma boa casa de praia? Vamos descobrir! Primeiro, estamos em Malibu, a joia do estado da Califórnia, indo para uma casa aconchegante em frente à praia. E você nunca vai adivinhar quem é a dona. É a atriz loira das praias Pamela Anderson. Você deve lembrar da Pan quando ela participou da série internacional de TV da Praia de Malibu, SOS Malibu. A antiga modelo de calendários exibida nas paredes de muitos quartos nos ajudou a lembrar os dias da semana também. Então, das paredes do seu quarto para as dela, vamos dar uma olhada em sua casa. Sun was going down and 
It was really beautiful. We come out here a lot around 3 or 4 in the morning and just sit out here. It's so peaceful. It's just so quiet. And you can see into the house at nighttime and it's just gorgeous. One star. He just goes in himself. He doesn't even wait for anybody to throw anything. Go swimming. Go on. Not bad. I could live like this. <laughs> so that's it. That's my pad. A dona dessa próxima casa teve seu nome na boca de todos por quase quatro décadas. É a supermodelo de renome mundial Naomi Campbell. Depois de ser descoberta aos 15 anos por um olheiro em Londres, Naomi ganhou fama no final dos anos 80. Mas nem tudo é feliz para a modelo, que também é conhecida por suas brigas com a lei. Alguns de seus hobbies incluem coisas mais comuns, como mergulhar no mar e fazer yoga, mas talvez seu mais incomum seja ser uma entusiasta da higiene. Eu me pergunto se a casa dela será tão limpa quanto suas mãos. Vamos descobrir. Hi, I'm Naomi Campbell. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. This is my retreat, and that's why I come out to Jamaica and just chill. It's just peaceful, nobody bothers you. We're in a rock abessa, which is Port Maria. It's considered like the James Bond town of Jamaica. We are on the Ian Fleming property. In here is like little den area. Watch DVDs. Just lounge here on the chair. There's lots of humidity, so a lot of things can get like wet quite easily. So you just want to have things that are light and easy to wash and maintain, which is what we have here. Okay, so upstairs here we have guest bedroom. I love iron beds, um, old-fashioned iron beds. We always have to have nets in Jamaica because there are mosquitoes and I myself don't like to be bitten. And we have a little deck here, which is nice just to sit out like around four o'clock in the afternoon, sunset time, and just look out onto my great swimming pool. I did a little costume change that was too hot. These are the steps that lead two places, to the shower, which is the one that I don't go under after five o'clock, so I won't be bitten. And then you've got these steps that also lead to the best swimming pool in the world. Back inside to the other side of the house. This is another bar outside. This is a typical Jamaican rum. I can't handle it. This is where we have barbecues. Look at how the small these bananas are. Did you see how small they are? In numeric, I see like 10 times the size of this. So now I'm going to show you the guest room, which was meant to be the satellite TV room. I had too many guests, and I needed to make another bedroom. All of the tree houses are in the shape of an octagon. Everyone gets their own CD players and play their own music of their choice. Now you can see my bedroom. It's nothing fancy, it's very simple. Simplicity is better for me. Again, octagon shape. I sleep very good here. I have to say I do. I sleep very, very well here. I can show the trees where everyone puts their names when they plant something. Everyone that's been here, my dad likes them to plant something from memory. And then you can come back years later and see how your tree's done. So the first tree here is Pierce Brosnan that we're looking at, which is kind of ironic, James Bond landing on James Bond property. Here's my plant, cocoa plant. You're supposed to talk to your plants and give them attention so they grow. I have to say I've been very neglecting of my plant, but I'm quite surprised at how big it's gotten. It's going very well, and I do love you. Okay, let's go. Show you some more grounds. 
Okay, now that you've seen the house, I'm gonna show you the beach. It's right, that way. Let's go. This is the beach where we come and lay out. And you can see over there, there's a little point where you can sit out on chairs and just gaze into the ocean. That's the best of Jamaica that I can give. Now you see my house in Jamaica. We've gone through everything, every nook and cranny, and you can go home. Go home. Goodbye. Vamos lembrar o passado agora com este próximo trio musical de volta. É o Destiny's Child. Agora, para as crianças que não sabem, o Destiny's Child foi o grupo que lançou as carreiras de Beyoncé, Kelly Rowland e Michelle Williams. Formada em Houston, Texas, essa combinação mágica de garotas conquistou as paradas mundiais. Mas tudo isso desabou para as garotas quando os rumores de uma briga começaram e Beyoncé e Kelly queriam seguir carreira solo. Então o grupo se dividiu. Mas vamos voltar para os tempos mais felizes agora e embora Michelle não more aqui, eu sei, pobre Michelle, ela ainda estará conosco. Welcome to our crib. Please come on. In. We're gonna give you a tour of the home of Destiny's Child. That's right. <laughs> We're in the home of Kelly and Beyonce. My mother lives here, and my sister Solange. This right here is the lovely living room. And I know the reason why we fell in love with this house was because of this huge window yes. right here overlooking the lake and the pool. The great thing, it looks like it's going into the lake. How fabulous. <laughs> this is my room. It's drama, very colorful and dramatized. Mm -hmm. We went and got saris from a lot of the Indian stores. And the great thing, all of this stuff is hand beaded. And this is my favorite piece in the room. It's so cool because it was carved like a genie bottle. And this is the same bed from the movie Devil's, Devil's Advocate. Advocate. Now this over here has to be my favorite part of my room. It's like just a place where ah, you lay back, you lay back and relax. And I know I write a lot of my songs here. This right here is really cool because it's bricks painted on the walls. And the ceiling, I got clouds painted because I love clouds. Imagine being stressed and coming here and just relaxing and listening to music and chilling out. It's perfect. <laughs> this is very surreal and peaceful. It's very warm and toasty out here. We taught Michelle how to swim just recently. I think you should jump in there. All right. No! <laughs> I think we've shown you just about everything. But we've got something very special for you. If you'd give us five minutes to prepare. We hope you enjoyed our wonderful crib. We hope you enjoyed the place that we live. So whenever you feel you need to go somewhere and chill. Y'all yeah. come back now, you hear? Now get out! Get that stepping! Yeah. Step! Yeah. Step! Yeah. Step! Right. Get, get back! back.